Visit sayaright.com for all your project supplies, tools, and instructions. Wrapping upholstered fabric around a backer board at the corner can be a little bit tricky. We're going to show you in this video how to do it for 90 degree corners and slightly curved corners. Let's get started. So I'm going to staple uh, all the way up to about there to the corner. Just leave about a, uh, two to three inches, making sure that my fabric is stapled well in place. I'm going to stop stapling at that location. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the fabric back. See all this excess fabric? It's just, there's a lot of fabric. So what you want to do is you want to fold one side back and then you want to find that your board and basically here's the edge of the board. I'm going to trim about a half inch or so away from that board and stop about a half inch from this board. Okay. Then I'm going to fold this over and there's the edge of the board. I'm going to trim about a half inch away from the edge of the board here to the halfway point there. So what I've got is I've got this scrap piece of fabric. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim away the excess, uh, leaving about two to three inches like that. So then what I do is I take this piece and I actually cut it to the corner, basically creating a 45. This takes out the scrap or the bulk of the fabric and I do the same thing with the other half right to the corner. So see how that lays? Then all you do is you grab this and you can tuck the sides if you'd like or you can cut out that excess but all you do is pull it over until you get a night all basically all the wrinkles to the back side and then you staple it in place and this is the way or the appropriate way to do a corner then trim off the excess and you don't have much bulk whoops <laughs> and you don't have much bulk at all I actually cut into my fabric but I didn't cut past the part that is seen so I'm okay so there is what the corner looks like. So you can see here this is a rounded corner so it's not a 90 degree corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away some of this bulk because this bulk is just going to cause um, more puckers. So we have that away and what you want to do here is you just want to create pleats making sure that the fabric on the outside looks good. So here I have a wrinkle but the fabric on the outside looks good. I got another wrinkle there, but that's all right. It's on the back side. Just want to pull the fabric out until it looks good there. You the, the outside's going to look great. Pull it there, staple it down. And let's see if we can get that one down. Now you got a beautiful rounded corner and you can't see any of the wrinkles except for on the back side. And then we'll trim some of these away just to make sure that it sits flat. If you have any questions about the supplies or tools or processes, please give us a call or email us. We're glad to help. I'm Eric Grandin from all of us here at Sayerite. Thanks for watching.